Biologists use graphs called histograms to show variation in populations of organisms. Let's look at a population of australopes to understand how histograms can show variation. If you look at the australopes, you can see that although they are all from the same population, they are all different from each other. They have different traits. For example, the australopes vary in color from yellow to green to blue, and they have different amounts of fur on their bodies. Their necks range from very short to very long. These are examples of variation in the australope population. If the population is broken into groups according to a single feature, such as the length of their neck, and they line up according to the trait of how long their necks are, we can see how many individuals have short necks and how many have medium, long, and very long necks. The lines of organisms are like bars in a graph. The taller the bar in the graph, the more organisms that have that neck length. This type of graph is called a histogram. This is the same histogram represented in a different way. It shows the same variation in neck length within the australope population. If the australopes are grouped by a different feature, the shape of the histogram will change. Now the australopes are lining up according to color. You could count how many australopes are each color by looking at every individual australope, one by one. But using the histogram is easier. One quick look shows that most of the australopes in this population are blue, some are yellow, and a small amount are green. Histograms help biologists understand the variation of traits in a population. They are also useful for comparing two or more populations or for investigating how populations change over time. <laughs>